player with great ability, the crowd love him. I said he'd be a fantastic player for West Ham, he'd be a big favourite and the crowd have taken to him. How can you not enjoy watching him play? How can you not enjoy people with that type of ability? He's, he's got unique skill that, uh, that people pay to come and watch and he's tremendous. I signed uh, this contract because uh, I was sure in, in my mind uh, I could give uh, back to Harry, to the club, uh, all uh, good things they, they, they made for me. So uh, after one year and a half uh, I'm very, very happy because uh, everybody now uh, Everybody have to say, sorry Harry, you was right. Oh, brilliant. I mean, uh, quality is undoubted, but also his attitude is, has really surprised me, really. Uh, you know, there's been quite a few foreigners that have come here over the years uh, that, that haven't sort of had that maybe English mentality, and, it, and he's got that a little bit, which really helps him, you know, in, in training his first class. and. As I say, ability-wise, I don't think I've seen better. Good touch from Berkovic to Lampard. Foe. A move from West Ham. Sinclair, Berkovic, called by Lomas, plays the decoy. Lampard, Berkovic is in here. It's there for Di Canio. It's first goal for West Ham. Lovely tight play between Lampard and Berkovic, and in the end, Berkovic across the goal, a tap in for Di Canio. io sono sempre stato quello che avresti voluto chiamare la persona che spinge. You know, people may think we took a chance with Pala, but I mean the ability he has got, the attitude he's shown in the dressing room and in training, he's, he's quite to every round the place and it gives everybody a lift when he's on the team sheet. I think about the English supporter because I know they they are concentrated about the, the players' attitude, not only about technique, you know, about also your uh, your attitude on the pitch, you know, so I improved a lot. and jumping with Davizas. Oh, Davizas has stuck out a toe and uh, Di Canio's onside. Well, the flag stayed down somehow. And it must be the fact that uh, it was Davizas who stuck the foot out and uh, according to the law of the game, that's, uh, that's not offside and he took it expertly round Shea Given, Di Canio, to score yet another home goal. I spoke to him after the game, I said, I thought you were terrific today, Carlo, you know, he said, I'm still only 60-70%, he said, I wasn't as good as I want to be, I'm nowhere near, you know, I said, well, I'd hate to see you when you're 100% fit, because he's been in great form, and the lads love him, he's terrific in the dressing room, uh, he's, a, he's a nice lad, and works hard at his game, he's a totally dedicated professional, I've been, I've been well pleased with him. Lack of form just before he got 
injured. Ian Wright always seems a man who might hit the target. Here's De Canio. Berkowitz has made a superb run for him. De Canio is taken in the back and it's in! Spencer Pryor, the unlucky man. But De Canio will claim that as his own. And you have to say, looking at the replay, it looked very much as though it was uh, destined for the top corner in any case. 19 minutes on the clock. West Ham break that deadlock. When I moved, I was uh, uh, happy because I believed in what I decide. You know, I say, I say to myself, uh, I, I, I look uh, at this team. Uh, I watch there are many, many good players. So I say, you know, it doesn't matter if you lose one, two games uh, for now. The problem is if you lose ten games uh, for now. So, but uh, when I, I moved in West Ham, uh, I was uh, sure this team could finish uh, in the, the top six. Uh, place uh, we did that so uh, I was very happy because also for me it's very important to play a game in Europe and uh, I was very happy especially for Harry because I know when I moved here a lot of people said to him you are crazy you are crazy manager because uh, uh, you sign a, a bad, bad man not bad player of course because uh, I think nobody can say nothing about my quality technically quality you know result too but uh, in a different way so I think the manager wanted to change uh, he did uh, that and uh, we, we get a result because last season we qualified for Inter Toton and we had a chance uh, to play two rounds in, in a World Cup of 
defence finds Stuart Pearce. Pearce has been playing fairly safe, keeping behind the halfway line most of the time. Just joining the attack on a few occasions. That was a lovely ball to De Canio. On Kerr. Onto the left foot. Pushes it square to Pearce. Pearce tries to thread one through with power. Sinclair cuts it out. Little flick from one shot. On by Fowey. One shot. Could it be a second? Maybe De Canio's. Interspersed play here by, first of all by one chop, the ball ran loose to De Canio, who got to his feet and hit on the turn, an unstoppable right foot shot past Tim Flowers. This is very important to me, because as you know, I always been called a pushy person. Somebody don't, don't, don't believe me when I say, when I was young, not very young, but I start, maybe 13, 14, uh, somebody talked in Italy about the English football, but they, they, never they showed in television no? the game, but uh, I played Subuto with, uh, you know, uh, Celtic and uh, Aston Villa with them, same team, same colour, yeah. <laughs> and Manchester, Liverpool. Uh, I, I grew up with Aston Villa or West Ham when you were a boy. Who did you think was better? Did you think that's Aston Villa or did you think that's West Ham? West Ham of because course. Bobby Moore. Bobby, Bobby Moore. Moore yeah. oh, it was a fantastic player. Steve Lomas, one chop, oh, neat lay layoff, but uh, Jacob saw it well, back to Walsh, takes his time, deep ball towards Saunders, but Ferdinand heads it sideways for Potts, finds De Canio, Lampard going forward, a good run and a good ball from Sinclair, but the ball just skidded away from Lampard, Sinclair now with, with support, De Canio, well, the lead off there for Bradford, he fell over the ball, but West Ham still in possession. Chip forward to, to one shot, but the Canio chance. So easy in the end. One nil, 34 minutes. The two Paulos combined. A neat layoff. And there was Di Canio. Accused sometimes of being a little bit pushy, but uh, certainly was there to score that goal. So simple. I've just said that uh, they want a lot of action in the penalty area and as usually happens, the action comes but unfortunately for the Bradford fans and the Bradford team, it was against them. The, the fourth games I played for was then, they started to sing this song. I think... Uh, the Blackburn Rovers then? Yes, yeah. 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 Uh, it was a great surprise for me. So. It's incredible to, to hear help from uh, English people singing an Italian, uh, uh, in English version, of course, but La Donna Mobile, you know, uh, there the opera, so it was a, a great surprise. Uh, I'm very happy, I'm very excited when I listen to people sing my, this song. Does in it the, make you play better? You feel yeah, 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 I feel more stronger. Honestly.
So, Alex Chamberlain should have watched that near post. West Ham, a goal up. Action. Oh, sorry, I want to. <laughs> the same part in the UEFA or in Champions League uh, you know you play Wednesday night okay we play Thursday but Thursday night uh, away game against uh, a team uh, from another country this is incredible incredible because uh, uh, you know um, a lot of people in Europe will watch your game you're yeah. hearing this everywhere I mean today we're listening on the television it's uh, what we ask the Romanian uh, fans and say who is the danger that Paolo we can help everybody so. because they don't understand football <laughs> Just for this, but uh, I hope if they are concentrated in the canyon, maybe uh, some other my partnership can make score easy Don't because uh, yes, it's better for for my team. Naples. When I played Naples, we played with 75,000. 
it was a great atmosphere for Italy, of course, but it's different to, to, to other people, to yes from you. When you, you get through and the people ask you, come on, pal, score for us, you know, this is a fantastic uh, atmosphere for me, give me, you know, power, give me energy. Side, one chop ahead, the Canio is still going amazingly. And here's Sinclair, and the first test for David Seaman, the ball still in play, and it's in. And I suspect that while uh, the Canio takes all the applause, that it may well have got a slight touch off the defender, but the Canio amazingly took on the world and his wife found the way home. Well, it was full justice that he was the one to put the ball in the net to Kenny, because look at this run. I mean, it's a bit outrageous. Tries a little nutmeg here for, through Silvino. Gets a little good ricochet here, because he tries to nutmeg Tony Adams as well. And it broke then for Sinclair. And then, really, it was a good knockback by Sinclair. One shot got a touch, and in the end, the toe ender by Dick Kenny. Wonderful individual skill. Conjures up a goal out of nothing. The incredible one moment was the second goal against Arsenal. Yes, because uh, I think uh, West Ham uh, couldn't won the game at home for 14 years. So I scored the second goal. So. In front of the Bobby Mustang, there was a uh, over Kian's head. Uh, over Kian, very great, great, no England player, but uh, <laughs> great goal. Was a great goal because uh, I had a good touch, good technically. So uh, in, in that moment, uh, you 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 was right when you say I say what I have to do. <laughs> I can, I can do more. Superb. Look at this. Away from Keogh. Superb goal. And so against the run of play, it is not true. But West Ham United lead by two goals to nil. Arsenal supporter, he said to me, hey, the Canyon, I say, hello. Uh, he said, what you did to my team? What do you do? Too much? <laughs> I say nothing. This is nothing. You have to watch the next round, next game with us. Say, oh, come on, don't play, please, uh, next time. One shot. Now the Kania. So much of the goal to aim at. Oh, he's going to be a penalty. penalty. Half 
after getting out of jail, would you believe it? One of the most experienced players. Tim Young went in with the challenge. Alan Wilkie wasn't far away. And just when you think you're going to wait, the left foot comes out. The... Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. The left foot came out and then came to a stop. And who's going to take the penalty here? Paolo Di Canio himself. It's 2-2. Two -two. And the Sheffield Wednesday supporters will be saying, not him. But it is their former player who left the club in controversial circumstances. No wonder Danny Wilson is frowning, but maybe more about the decision itself, Andy. Yeah, I think it will be, Mark. I mean, this is... Well, didn't expect him to miss. He's cool, he's composed. to, to uh, work uh, in the 39 steps of Wembley and to put up uh, to my head a uh, FA Cup and then maybe score 10 own goals in one season. Right, right, they right. score 35 goals and win nothing because this is my dream, to go Wembley, play for a cup. I understand more reading English than how I speak. Really? Yes, more, much more. Yes, yes. The more you but read. of course, not if I if I if I try to read a political book, it's difficult because there are different difficult words, you know. But uh, maybe normal book like English politics doesn't make sense anyway. No, <laughs> like Italian, <laughs> Italian politics. We have more problems than you. You have to be happy. I know.
desperately need something to uh, give them some sort of lifeline. West Ham. Ruddock at the back. The Canio! Sheer physical presence of Neil Ruddock. But not the best piece of goalkeeping that you've seen this season. Problems at either end. But beautifully taken by Di Canio, but it went straight through and the half. Ormai non sente si felice a pieno, chi su due seno non gli va amore. La donna è mattina, qual più ma il vento, nuda da cento di pensier. Now. Do one more, do one. 